have oversized nostrils. Oh, are we rolling? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I wanted to get so that in there. On, How yes. big are your nostrils? I'm sorry. <laughs> Use the word oversize and nostrils in a sentence. Super easy. Sean's face. Okay. Dust tactics. I don't have the book. I think John absconded with the book on the flight, or some flight attendant chucked it, which would be a shame because uh, it's very, a very handsome game. This is the core set. So Dust Tactics is the board game. Uh, Dust Warfare is the miniatures battles game. But the miniatures battles game can use all of the figures from the board game. And by the way, Fantasy Flight Games, thank you very much. They swagged me this box kit. Excellent. Woo -woo. <laughs> yeah, well, what I realized while I was there is, if you had a booth at Adepticon, and I came and did a video on you, yeah. you will probably get more people looking at your stuff for my video than will come by the booth in four days. I really That's wanted to get you opening that box because it That's seems right. special. Oh, please do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I love that. And in fact, I saved this box. I didn't open it because I wanted to get it on video. So somebody in the last Adepticon video, or the latest one that I put up, asked me to review the things that we got. And that is exactly what we're going to do. Uh, this so is, this, and that by the way is my standing deal with people that swag us. We will do a review of your product. If the review is negative, we will do that privately. We'll just be like, yeah, we reviewed your product. Here are the things that we think, the reasons why we think it wasn't very strong. Maybe ways that you can improve. Uh, but if it's good, then uh, you get a good review. Uh, we're not really going to look at the rules because quite frankly I am not that interested in Dust Tactics as a board game. Uh, there, it, for all I know it's the most genius board game ever. Um, it does border on a miniatures battles game. Am I getting some glare there? Love that. Um, a miniatures battles game because you do rearrange the tiles every time. But you do move like pieces in chess and uh, you know like in squares like this. So uh, I'm sure it's all wonderful, but I, I'm really interested in the, uh, in the miniatures battles aspect of it. And by the way, here's your tiles. So yeah, I guess in a way, may, maybe you don't move them around. So that's what that looks like, basically. So you just move all your guys onto whatever the, the space is. Is that just paper? So, yes, it's just paper. It's like a poster, a thick poster. Ah, oh, now the good stuff, the miniatures. Yay. And uh, I, I'm actually already sold on these. I bought a lot of them just for the, uh, the whatever it is, the, um, like, to, just to break them up and use them into other projects. Uh, but um, these are dry erase, so you can mark off, like, hit points and stuff on them. I'm pretty sure how, that's how that works. These are very high quality. Uh, they're made on thick board. They have a great logo on that's the back, cool. so definitely a quality product there. And uh, I do believe, I don't know how much this retails for, I think it's somewhere between 60 and 90. Uh, maybe I can find it on the back here. In fact, let's just take a look. It is, uh, doesn't say. Hold on, maybe it's on the paper here. Ah, here we go. Here's a price. It is $79.95. And so I, I, I don't know if that's the retail price, but here you go. There's some tiles. Those are for the board game. Not interested in those for the purpose of this review. Here's uh, tank traps. Uh, these have a goodly amount of detail, uh, not gross mold lines on them. And uh, here's the dice for Dust Tactics. And I, I don't know how I feel about this. It could make it super simple and very exciting, or it could just be a big blah. So basically, when you roll the dice, you're trying to get hit markers, and there's two of them on each dice. So each dice represents a one in three chance of being successful. So uh, I don't know. For all I know, that's genius. By the way, we have a lot of these around the studio. These are uh, little terrain pieces, and we painted those up. You may have seen them in our battle reports. They're green. And uh, so let's move on here. So this, this really is a great value. If you, if you bought two Dreadnoughts uh, for Warhammer 40K, you would get, they'd be $45 each. You'd get something perhaps comparable to this piece, and it would all be unassembled. So with, uh, with Dust Warfare and Dust Tactics, and again, I'm only interested in Dust Warfare because we're a miniatures battles painting company, um, and, uh, and that's what we do is miniatures battles. So anyway, so this is the base piece. Looks like we have a couple of weapons here. Whoops, that kind of How much did you say all this was? It was $80. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, not too bad. Yeah. Because you would have paid 90 just for the two right. kits, plus it, you got all the other stuff. Great. So not too bad. So I'm pretty sure how this works is these things plug in. 
uh, this is a bit, so there you go. That's, That's what that looks like. Off. Yeah, and look at all the detail on this. It is, I mean, there is an absolutely nothing amiss here. They have, you know, these like hooks and cords. They're all pretty much on, on their whips and chains. <laughs> they have hooks and things and stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's fancy, guys. We were, we were, and this little crotch piece, like, moves around, you know, so that's fun to move that. Uh, <laughs> and it goes do you downhill mind? Do you mind? I'm trying to do a serious product <laughs> review here, and it's not easy with you yucking it up. Okay, so anyway, uh, here is, there's that. So you can technically play it. It has this little decal, but basically this is, un, this is unpainted. We would probably reprime it. I have to say that whatever the coloration here is, this is okay. This is okay just to prime right on over that. You will not lose uh, I like that color, though. You need to paint it. It is. We, it's awesome. you, you really could work with that and yeah. weather it and do a lot yeah. of nice things. Yeah, it comes with these infantry, and I'm going to tell you why I absolutely love the infantry in this game. Number one. Yes, I want those. Okay, number one. <laughs> number one is the scale. They are 28, possibly even 30 millimeter scale models. In fact, if you just stop for Astrals, let me pick my nose. <laughs> we all know I do it. At least I kind of duck Cat's down out of the bag it. now. Not me. I'm like, pick me a winner. <laughs> <laughs> I don't okay, do that. Come, come, on, come on in a little okay. closer. Um, so here's, what you're, here's the comparison there. So that's a space marine. And there's that guy. Where's so that it is probably a good 30 millimeters. They are on 30 millimeter bases. Uh, instead of 25s. What I like about the bases, they have these little divots, which I think are, uh, I think they're neat. They just, they're, and they come pre-textured with this kind of uh, truck bed liner grill type of stuff. Um, and uh, so this guy's, and the detail on the, there's absolutely zero wrong with the sculpting on these figures. They are just, quite frankly, I'm, I'm proud to be holding one of them. <laughs> Um, they they are. Happy. They do make. They do make me happy. Now that guy's. That guy's a little bulkier. I think he's like a Superman. The regular guys. This is a. This is like a regular trooper. Can you stop? Thank you very much, <laughs> Jen. And she kind of made me do it. I did kind of, not. Right. You know, in the airport, I said something untoward, and uh, and I was like, I was kind of covering my tracks, right? And what? John's like, Sean, take responsibility for your actions. Yeah. Brutal. Seriously. Just because you're your employees you doesn't own. mean you can like well, just you know, throw us that's, under the that's, bus. That's my life right now. I'm making the outside match the inside. And the inside isn't that great. All right, let's roll. Rose image. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's all kind of like, it looks like entrails. It's really, yeah, there's, anyway, um, okay. do, you, do you mind? <laughs> anyway, so, uh, so the regular guy actually is about the size and height of a, of a space marine. What is there, he doing? Again, is he going to, like, shake thing. some hands or something? There? I, th I, think, I think he's motioning the troops Here, I'll forward. I'll shake his hand. There. Hello. <laughs> Hello, <Greetings. Dessa. laughs> Or he's going right, to so, um, dance. He's going to ask somebody to dance. I'm just kidding. I'll stop. Uh, so, yeah, let me just set that guy aside. So, um, if you ordered a Blood Angels army and don't get one of your guys, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably still sitting here. That's terrible. How so, many yeah, figures uh, are there in it's, all? It's uh, basically, um, let's see here, for the Americans, two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm going to say ten. A squad of ten guys. Oh, no, there's more. Twelve. Maybe twelve. Ten to twelve guys. Hold on. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Fourteen guys. Three. And then probably another fourteen <laughs> on the Axis side. Uh, one downside of uh, dust warfare is there's only two sides to it, but uh, if you if each sides, uh, and that's something I tried to explain is you have a game, and then you have factions, so matching columns, right? And then how deep is each faction? Like how many how many army list entries are there for each faction? And then how uh, full is each faction? Like how many have they published? So do they have 40 army list entries and they've only published 20? So if you had a game like this one, apparently with only two factions and a third on the way, which is very few factions, but if they're really super deep, then you could have different sorts of armies within, you know, this, if this faction was, say, 100 entries deep, and you only needed, like, five different entries to make your army, then you could have lots of variation there. Okay, so let's take a look at the last walker, 
and uh, then yeah. we'll call it quits. So here's the uh, Axis, and this comes with these missile launcher things. And quite frankly, I think these are just fine to, to buy them and scrap them for other projects. Yeah, I think they're um, awesome. They look really cool. But now that they come out with a miniatures battles game for it, I really am, I'm kind of excited to get them on the board. And uh, I'm hoping to bring over some of the guys that are doing 28 millimeter uh, World War II historicals uh, over into uh, something a little more science fictiony. Why is that oh, one I don't, different? I don't, yeah, this one doesn't have the rockets on it. Did we oh, get I, chipped? I don't think there's, no, I, I don't think so. I think these are... Uh, <laughs> Did we get chipped by our like free game? game right? <laughs> um, so there you go. Apologies to all the gypsies that may be watching. Um, <laughs> yeah, so there you go. All right. Well, anyway, and then there's the uh, Germans. Let's let's open let's open one of these guys, just for the kicks and giggles. Well, there you go. Oh wow, that guy has like some weird science Tesla gun. I don't know why they each come in individual baggies. Like that is you know. I think that it's a little extra deluxe. care. Yeah. It is. Yeah. I I actually think these guys could probably just be thrown in together, but that would look kind of bad, wouldn't it? So it's all about gonna, the presentation. I'm gonna give them points for pro yeah. for individual things. Uh, plus, if uh, you deal meth, uh, you, have, uh, you have a little something extra. You can save, you can save a few cents a baggie for your, uh, for your crystal. Or We're all about helping you guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Attention, meth dealers. Um, okay, so yeah, he's got like this weird science Tesla coil type gun on him, and uh, is he I have wearing to say, a mask? Yeah, he has is? a gas mask on. Oh, okay. Yeah, or he's got really bad cheekbone yeah. structure, right? <laughs> it's like, is he a zombie? He's like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, that's Dust Warfare. We opened the basic kit. It has a ton in it. There's really, uh, as far as I can tell, there's really no downsides, but we have yet to actually play the game, see what the rules are like. And quite frankly, I would be quite refreshed if the game were uh, simple and quick-paced, uh, but had a lot of uh, nuance to it. Nuance? Like checkers. Nuance, is that a word? Yeah, nuance is a word. Are you All sure? Right. Yep, Tara's backing me up. But see, Tara, Tara has Tara to back you up. So anything that she says oh, is void. It's really a word. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to dictionary online it. <laughs> All right, uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed.